Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of a neat new Quadcopter. This is the Ghoul RC G90 Pro. Now don't confuse the Ghoul RC G90 Pro with the Ghoul RC G90. Those are very different birds. That one's, uh, the G90 is a little brushless, or yeah, brushed micro RC FPV quadcopter. This one is a brushless from uh, Goo RC. And it looks actually looks pretty darn cool. I'm kind of excited to try it here. Now the Goo RC G90 comes with a Serial Sleep Pro Racing F3 flight control board loaded up with uh, Betaflight 3.1.5. Um, it has uh, 8,000 kV motors. It comes with a 12 amp, 12 amp um, 4 and 1 ESCs for those motors on its uh, power distribution board and uh, 48 channel uh, FPV or yeah micro arts or micro FPV all-in-one camera 25 milliwatt um, it comes with uh, five bladed props instead of tri blades which is interesting I'm really curious to see how much lift these perform it comes with a beeper I love beepers folks these are very important to have to warn you about low battery voltage and it has that and LEDs on the back and also it has uh, uh, prop guards installed so if you want to fly indoors now this is the one thing that I kind of don't like in that the prop guards are already installed and uh, uninstall them if you want to fly outdoors I'm, I don't know how much of a problem they are going to be flying outdoors today we'll see but you need to remove these screws from the motor base to remove the prop guards if you want to get rid of the prop guards let's see uh, did I miss anything uh, 7.4 volt 450 milliamp hour battery uh, is provided with this to to power it with a XT30, I believe. Is that XT? Yeah, XT30 connector. So uh, that's in an effect. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. I forgot to mention, it only is available in Bind to Fly for Free Sky um, format in right now. Uh, hopefully, in the future, this will be available in other formats, depending on how popular it becomes. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, there's one thing I forgot to mention. This has on-screen display with it, OSD. So that's another advantage of this over the Google RC G90 uh, with the G90 Pro. Okay, right now uh, we're going to fly an Acro. So first off, I'm going to arm the motors. Motors are armed. And uh, selecting Acro. I also have air mode select set so I can fly in air mode if I want. But we're going to fly in Acro. And... Uh, I got 8.2 8 volts, so my voltage is good, and let's go for it. Here we go. Okay, now as mentioned, this is available in Free Sky. One thing right now, folks, the goggles that I got on right now are providing a little bit of interference. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't want to fly with these goggles. Hold on, folks. I'm going to come in and switch to my uh, furry bee goggles. I like my furry bees better for some reason. So right now, but the, air, the quadcopter is flying great. All right. And I landed right on the pad, too. <laughs> okay, let me switch to Perfect. furry bee goggles. Hold on, folks. I'm sorry, folks. I just like these furry bees better for some reason. They seem to be better goggles for me um, than others. I, they're cheap, but they, I like them. <laughs> Okay, arming the quadcopter again. Okay, we are armed going to Acro, and away we go again. Yeah, these are my favorite goggles, if people wonder, are wondering. I like these little furry bees. Okay, the quadcopter, it feels good. It actually feels very good. And, Ouch! Except I crashed into a tree. And I'm stuck it's in the tree. tree. <laughs> I'll go get it. Okay, it was stuck pretty high up in a tree, but thankfully I had to help my brother-in-law to get it down. <laughs> he had to climb up that tree to get it. Okay, so arming the motors again. And going back to Acro, we are in Acro. And this time I'm going to try to stay down low when I go through those trees. Now... Oh, I got to land it, folks. It's making noise. For... Something's whizzing on that from the tree landing when it fell down. Hold on, folks. Okay, we had some bent props there. I bet unbent them. They unbended very nicely without shattering. <laughs> so that's a good point. Okay, uh, arming the motors and going back to Acro. And away we go again.
Okay, let's see if it'll do a roll. <laughs> okay, it doesn't roll that way. Does it roll that way very, very nicely? Okay, let's go down through the trees again. This time staying low so my brother in law doesn't have to go up in the trees. <laughs> I couldn't have done that. I had to thank him very much for that. Okay, these furry bee goggles, yes, they got better range than. I don't know what the issue is with my other goggles there, but. Well, this is flying very nicely, folks. We are at 6.4 volts, though, already. Well, 6.4 volts is still fine. Let's try a rapid turn with this thing. It turns nicely. Let's do a high speed pass. Yeah, let's go out a little further to see how it does. Okay, it does good range on it. Coming back through the trees again. Wow. Went through the trees. Very maneuverable, folks. Very, very maneuverable. Still got a lot of voltage on it. This is a good quad. Who makes this again? Gold RC. I'm surprised. You know, Gold RC, I'm, I haven't been really impressed with a lot of Gold RC products, but this one, this one is good. Well done, folks. Well done, Gold RC. Hit those trees again. <laughs> <laughs> Giving those trees a haircut. Very acrobatic. And I hear my beeper. I gotta land, folks. And there we go. That's its voltage. I hope I didn't go too bad. I wasn't watching the voltage I should have. I went below six volts, which is not good. <laughs> so, okay, unarm or disarm me. You hear that beeping? I should have paid attention to that. I went below six volts. I hope I didn't hurt that battery. But let's dis disconnect it here. So, all in all, wow, this is a nice flyer, folks. Once I got it up in the air after those cra initial crashes, um, I was impressed how well it could actually go around the trees. It's a nice flyer um, and plenty of power to it from these motors. Um, I even I did some rolls, did some flips. It's crash resistant. Um, the props got bent up when I smacked into the tree. Again, these prop guards, I'd love to remove these prop guards because I think that uh, they, serve, they, they serve as hooks. If you end up in a tree, that's why I don't like to use prop guards. But overall, my thoughts on this, um, yeah, this is a winner, folks. This Glorcy is a winner. I liked it. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.